Welcome back to JJ Speed Chat. This time we're gonna start the little 302. We finally got it finished. The 64 and a half Mustangs on all four wheels. And we're gonna break in the cam. We'll show you how to break in the cam. Basically, you just wanna run it up to 2000 RPM for about 20 minutes, vary it a little bit, and check hope, the leak spear outside of the car. And hope to God that it doesn't flatten the camshaft. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you are a seasoned viewer, thanks for watching again. All right, let's get this thing started. Ready? Yeah, let's hit it. Okay, here we go. Fuel pump on. the positive from the ignition actually hooked up to the coil we thought we did but that one was unhooked so uh, no fire we have we have hooked it up now so let's ready oh yeah I guess safety first but they'll see your plugs in it's gonna be loud and we have the fire department right here the fire department in the bottom fire department in the bottom The only uh, 
The only real oil leak I saw was out of this valve cover and who cares? This went a whole lot better than that 440 we did. Uh, alternator's charging at 2200 RPM. It's at 32 degrees of timing. I mean, it ain't a rocket ship, but it'll be a really, really fun daily driver. With these aluminum heads and good flow and hell yeah, this will be a this will be fun. This be fun. <laughs> I can't honestly. I can't wait to drive this car with us in there. I mean, what do you think? 27, 28, 100 pounds, pounds maybe with a T5. This running yeah. little small block. <laughs> be in there with 300 pounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that that went a whole lot better mm -hmm. than I thought it was going to. So. Well, that's that's a wrap for tonight. Highly cool. recommend an engine drive. Oh, every time. <laughs> Absolutely. Man, that went really, really well. That's so cool. Sweet. All right. See you guys. We're about to drain the oil, and we're trying to figure out if this front sump is going to work with that or not. We don't think so. If we need to, there's a there's a 5-liter Fox Body oil pan over here that we might be able to use. But we're going to drain the oil real quick and see how it looks hopefully that cam is good well it looks pretty clean so far I don't see a whole lot of sparklies we'll keep draining after thoughtful consideration and deliberation this is we uh, we will pull the pan because that's that is not gonna work at it's all closer. because this is where the mount goes, is somewhere in here, this area. And it has to go over all of this. And Fox bodies have a perfect thing for a cross member and a steering rack. So we're gonna try this one. If not, we'll have to get a rear sump. We'll see. Fox body oil pan is installed and the T5 is sitting on there. We're gonna pull it off the run stand and try to test fit it up here. Wow, that Man, that fuel tank is rusted. Ooh, that's bad. We got a new Well, that's one. it for this episode of JJ Speed Shop. Uh, stay tuned for part whatever 47 we're on, I think, of this Mustang. Uh, we're going to pull this off the stand, test it in the car, and get everything lined up. We have the them on eBay, the uh, cross member for a T5. We're just going to set it in there and then go from there and build our own mounts. And Fab stuff. the mounts. Yeah. yeah. So, stay tuned. AMF. Hey, hit that subscribe button. See ya.